Hi guys, um, just wanted to do a quick little message. Um, one to say um, I'm getting mixed reaction to the real time footage, um, and it's about 50 50. Um, a lot of the airbrush people who watch my channel were saying, you know, it's great, um, and a lot of the people who are just into seeing what I do have said it's a bit boring which I fully understand I mean there's there's nothing more boring than watching paint dry as I've said before so um, I just wanted to say quickly that this is the last one that will feature real time painting um, uh, there's this part and one more part to the appetite guitar because uh, it's finished now um, so this is the last one that will feature real time footage so if it's boring to you Please hang in there. Um, the next video will just be time lapse. Um, and uh, on another note, um, I've noticed that I've reached 10,000 channel views on my YouTube channel, um, which is phenomenal. I um, I never expected to get to that ever, um, and and I, I'm pushing near on 600 subscribers now. Um, which is amazing. It uh, it gives me a warm, fuzzy feeling inside. Um, so thank you, um, everybody who watches, everyone who subscribed. Um, means a lot. Uh, I hope my videos are useful to you or entertaining at least. Um, and uh, it's really difficult making painting interesting. <laughs> um, unless the content's really cool, and I'm not the best airbrusher in the world, so. Um, so it it pleases me that you like what I'm doing or appear to like what I'm doing <laughs> um, so yeah hang in there this is the last one that will be a bit slow going um, next one will be time lapse and there will only be part 13 which is this one and part 14 the next one that's it it's, it's done the customers come and pick the guitar up this Saturday um, so thank you love you all oh and um, I'm getting questions about Jessica um, because I kind of ended on a I've clear coated it and now I need to fix it note um, there she is she's lovely she's my favourite guitar I'll um, I'll do another video I'll do a third part for that just to show you the end result um, yeah cheers Tom. Obviously Auto Air is a water based paint so you need to heat set it don't forget. A little bit of heat there just to aid the drying process. Don't forget though Ultra Mask shrinks with heat. Um, for like moulding round corners or you know if you're doing a helmet for instance you know you get a load of creases so you can use heat to shrink the ultra mask round the, the surface so it's good stuff but the only downside of that is when you're on here if it's not perfectly stuck down you'll see it bubble slightly and then start to shrink so be careful with it it's still great stuff though uh, right so one more coat of this so now we've done that we're going to go in with the um, transparent red. After we did my little test here, we found the transparent red was the best one to go with. So uh, we'll do that. <coughs> I'll zoom in so you can see what I'm doing. I'll stop waffling, but it's just transparent red. Um, I'll use my Harder and Steenbeck uh, Infinity Airbrush for this one, and I'll reduce it 50-50 um, because that's quite a small needle. So it's helps it flow better plus it helps me do the detail. Actually, I can't show you the whole of this arm in real time because 
uh, you know, I'm, I'm not a YouTube partner, I'm restricted to a 10 minute video. Uh, and I can't show you the whole thing in 10 minutes. So what I'll do is I'll do his bicep here in real time and then I'll do a quick, I'll speed it up to show you the rest, right? Now, on the original, the only bit of yellow is across this top edge of his bicep here. The rest is all red. So, let's just do that. What I might benefit from here, actually, is... I've got a freehand stencil on it. These are great. Like here, I don't want the paint going over there. Just get this freehand stencil and hold it in place, and it'll stop it for you. It's brilliant. overspray here because um, a little yellow highlight on this flying skull's tail just here so if I'm not careful I could paint over that And as you can see, my airbrush needs cleaning out properly. It keeps spitting, but we'll keep going. We'll see how we do. I'm just there for that spit there. There we go. Here I'm spraying mostly on the Ultra Mask, just to make sure I don't cover up any detail I don't want to lose. So most of the paint is going over the Ultra Mask, but a little bit that overlaps, giving you that nice steady 